So what is a normal IgA level? Well, 64 is below 64 is definitely normal. Then of course in uh, reference, some of the reference values up to 100 is also taken as normal. So anything more than 100, okay, we say uh, theorem IgA is on the higher level. So does it mean that uh, the person is, has definitely allergy and it is not due to anything else? No. IG can be due to various other causes also. Like for example, it could be due to parasitic infections, it could be due to tropical eosinophilia, strong aliodosis, schistosomiasis, some viral infections, some malignancies, then hyper IG syndrome, etc. So they are all not very common. What we are worried about is we have uh, patients coming and saying, uh, uh, I want, I have my allergy test uh, done. Serum Ig is high. Do you have allergy? So the significance of Ig comes when when we plan the treatment for allergy, right? So as I said earlier, it show, high Ig shows that a person is sensitized to different allergens. 